Firstly, after a tremendous amount of work over the last year, that is in 2017, the Hawks completed its first phase of the investigation in November 2017 and referred the matter to the National Prosecution Authority for decision. I would want to like to thank the Hawks Serious Corruption Investigation team who did a remarkable job on this case. And I think once you have a better sense of how much work has been done, you will have a better understanding why I'm saying I'm grateful and proud of their efforts. On the 26th of January 2018, the investigating team executed a search and seizure operation at the Free State Department of Agriculture and the Premier's office. A lot of documentation and electronic equipment were confiscated in that session seizure. And then the following day, the same team went to Friede, where they obtained statements from the intended beneficiaries of the Friede Dairy Project. On return, the information was collated and sent to the NPA for them to make a decision which led to the arrest of the eight suspects on the 14th of February, 2018, in and around Gauteng as well as Free State Province. All suspects appeared at the Bloemfontein Regional Court on the 15th of February, 2018, and were granted bail of between 10,000 and 200,000 friends. And the case has been postponed to the 17th of August, 2018. On that same day, the Hawks made a public announcement that there was a warrant of arrest against Mr. I.J. Gupta, Gupta, sorry. The warrant of arrest against Mr. I.J. Gupta is on an unrelated case of corruption and is still active until it is executed. At the moment, we are liaising with his lawyers who have written to us and we have postponed, I mean, we have uh, responded accordingly. It should be noted that the arrest of the eight suspects was a, phase, first, a first phase of one of our broader state of capture investigations. And therefore, it is neither a, a procedure nor a policy for us to prematurely reveal pending investigations and or sought suspects, as this will compromise our ongoing probes. And there's been various sentiments and views attributed to these investigations. We respect the different views and opinions, however, it must be noted that only ourselves as the Hawks who assist with this investigation can talk with authority and nobody else. I want to assure the nation that as the Hawks, we are not influenced in any way, be it politically or otherwise. All our investigations are being done competently, honestly, in, and independently without outside influence of any kind. We will continue to pursue and investigate these complex matters without fear or any favor. And in conclusion, we'd like to appreciate the South African public, the media, civil society organizations for their continuous support. I thank you very much.